Hey, what is up team? Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video. First of all, I want to thank you guys for giving me all the love and support for uh, being sick with COVID. I'm feeling a, a little bit better and I figured I'd go ahead and get you know, back to business. So we're going to go ahead and get this uh, video started. We got a great video for you Thursday. We call it Tweaky Thursdays. We got used stocks, charts, and some great picks, hopefully for some lotto plays moving into tomorrow. And then some forward thinking type of trades that can make you guys some money. But what I need you to do right now is hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And I need you guys to come along with us on the journey. Check the description tab out. I get tons of tools and tidbits with hyperlinks right there. And all Traders War Rooms products and services right there at your fingertips to make you a more successful trader. Now, if that sounds good, then all I got to say to you is follow me. Let's go to war together, team. Traders War Room, let's get it. All right, welcome back team. Legal disclaimer, this is not financial advice. The content is for entertainment and education purposes only. You're responsible for every decision you make. We want you to have fun, use caution, always go to war. So services we provide at Traders War Room, we got free and paid services, real-time buy and sell alerts, live trading bell to bell, every day the markets open, one-on-one -on -one mentoring, trading classes, a fantastic community. It goes on and on and on. Basically, here's last week's stats. We killed it. This is just me and there's tons more on the server, but basically we had a 90% win rate and we're expecting to have a pretty high win rate as well this week. Just not as much trades because of course I was sick during COVID, but I got a great team of analysts that are pushing out alerts for everyone that's out there. Some alerts this week, we were just talking about it, guys. Here's something for me. I went ahead and got in to the SPY trade, plus 64. We had AP do a killer Costco trade, man. That was $265, over 500% with the Costco leap. We got gold over here. McJohn was killing it, $89 on there. And guys, it's not just about options, okay? We got stocks, people, and we got crypto, and we got Forex. So one of our top stock person, He's pushing it. He did a bumble trade and it was $2.88 per share. And then we got the Forex guy over here that was killing it, uh, making a profit of 185 pips, guys. So truly something for everyone over at Traders War Room. We got our algo bots. Now, this is different than other algos that you may purchase out there, okay? We took an algorithm that we created and we made it into a bot. And this bot shorts and does longs on the SPX and the NDX. Right now, I got the NDX for you over here on the left. It's got a short signal from the NDX and went ahead and ran for 23% profit. And then on the right, it was almost like it was meant to be, right? You take it down, you write it back up and it was a long signal on the NDX. And we give you suggested tickers that you can run on these. Basically, you know, the NDX is the NASDAQ. And then we got the SPX bot, you know, is the S&P 500. So usually we run them on queues or a spy, but any of those big ticker items that are moving, you can do it, you know, the liquid ones, Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, so on and so forth, but definitely killer trades out there. And we are doing this all the time. And we got 25 real-time analysts and alerts, all kinds of styles as you just saw, stocks, options, crypto, Forex, you name it. We got a long, short day, swing spreads, leaps, we have something for everybody in every type of budget. Guys, I highly suggest you come check us out, especially if you're serious about learning how to trade, wanting to develop your trade style, and you want to make some money. Guys, we're out here doing great things with a great community, making money every day the market's open. Right now, we got a premium Discord 
five day trial with any gold membership. So we offer that up there. You guys come check out some of our alerts and you know, come get some money with us and hopefully you guys stay with us. We have a high retaining uh, trend. So most people that do come over to our uh, premium side of the house, they end up staying with us, okay? We got a great net and we're doing something right. If most of the people, I'd say 95% of people that come over and try us out, end up staying with us uh, above other servers. So definitely come check that out. Instant messaging platform. If you guys want less noise and just alerts, we got you covered. We're live on this. The link's right there. It's direct IM messaging alerts that are just giving solid, high quality alerts and all the less noises. So you won't be pinged with all the Twitter feeds and you won't be pinged with this and dinged with that and all that stuff, man. We're just giving you guys alerts, some charts, some DDs and reasons why to get in certain trades. We also got the supply and demand class. Guys, this is going to be a fantastic class, so please check it out. It's on 22 May. We're doing at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, $15. You guys get to keep the recording, okay? If you purchase the class and you register via the Zoom platform, your email goes into a queue, and you will get the recorded copy when it's done processing after the class is completed. This is a fantastic program. This is going to be a fantastic class, and trading supply and demand zones is going to make you a fortune. So definitely check it out when you get an opportunity and sign up today. <clears throat> Bottom line, we're destroying the market no matter which direction it goes. We want you to quit wasting money that doesn't make money. We want you to invest in yourself in 2022. We hope you do that with Traders War Room. And with that said, are you ready for war? Because Traders War Room is, and with everything we just went over, let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this presentation. So here's how the market's close today, red across the board. And as you see, we're still sitting there at that 10 year yield, floating around you know, the 2.8, 2.9 area. Over there on the right, we got some futures that we're paying attention to, looking kind of looking kind of greenish uh, a little bit. You know, there's some red. Remember futures are just glimpses of what could be, not what will be. We use them to get a plan and strategy in motion. And down there at the bottom, you got some top trending stocks. And we got some of the charts here in a few moments that we're gonna go over. On some of those but definitely paying attention to these because these are the things that are trending this is where the volume is at okay so we're paying attention to it how the markets closes well of course you kind of got a mixed market okay that's the total market image on the right we got the etfs over there on the top left excuse me the top right is the etfs on the bottom left we got sector performance we see that materials and healthcare did really well today consumer staples and technologies didn't do so good and that was led majority by Microsoft, Apple, Walmart, and, and uh, P&G. So definitely paying attention to those. And the big money calls versus puts, you can see where the big money's flown. That's the way we want to trade the market, especially if you're a trader and not an investor. If you're an investor, you want to buy dips, okay? If you're a trader, you want to trade where the money's flowing, all right? So just big, big difference in uh, strategies and tactics. Hot stocks and sectors. So here's the penny stock sector. Guys on the left, if you're not paying attention to the penny stocks, you need to start, okay? These are starting to blow up and they'll move five, 10, 15 cents. But when they're so cheap that you buy, you know, a hundred, a thousand shares and you're making some decent money off of these movements. So you definitely got to pay attention to it. The electric utilities and IPPs, I don't really know what IPPs is, but it's basically the electric utility sector, right? And a nuclear, nuclear type of um, renewable energies and stuff like that. That's this particular sector. It's getting a lot of steam right now, especially with people looking for new ways to get clean energy and stuff. We gotta pay attention to these, all right? So a lot of those right there are things that you need to put on your radar and start paying attention to. And then over here on the right, we got the independent power producers. So I listened to a report earlier today that was talking about nuclear medicine, excuse me, nuclear energy is gonna be the next big boom energy that's coming. A lot of this is seemed to be thought of as um, unsafe, but really when you break it down, it's one of the most safe type of energy um, resources that we have. However, when catastrophic events happen, they are catastrophic and they're big. So they get a lot of eyes and attention, a lot of people fearful, but nuclear energy is definitely something that is really being spun up real soon. And if you look back history in the nuclear and the uranium sectors, it has been doing a fantastic job for a while. So definitely paying attention to that. <clears throat> Top story, Tesla investors call for share buyback after Musk Twitter deal hurts stock. Now I, I heard some contrary and, and, you know, reports on this one, but basically a major individual investor of Tesla on Thursday called the electric car maker to buy back shares after Tesla stock took a hit from CEO 
Elon Musk deal to buy Twitter. So we're definitely paying attention to this. There's some talk about, you know, the deal is not really going through and all this type of stuff. But last thing I heard is that the deal is being finalized and they're just waiting for it to come out officially and be done and wrapped up. Next story, analysis retail apocalypse. So Wall Street is shaken by inflation induced earnings hits. This is because of the huge dumps between Walmart, Target, Kohl's, and Costco, okay? So, you know, if you think about it, you know, Walmart being such a juggernaut type of company, if they're getting hit and they're starting to do the inflation horns, you know, what does that say about the whole retail sector as a whole? So we're definitely paying attention to it. I think these are still great, fantastic stocks to get into long. I do think they have a, a potentially a little bit of a downside right now, so you could probably get a better entry. However, nibbling in, getting some dollar cost averaging in and starting out positions is never a bad idea in these particular forever hold stocks, in my opinion. So definitely we're following these and we're paying attention. And finally, the story, Wall Street ends lower as Cisco and Apple sink. So this was a big one. Wall Street ended lower after a volatile session on Thursday with Cisco systems slumping after giving a dismal outlook while investors fretted about inflation and rising interest rates. So, you know, we're talking about juggernaut companies here, NVDA, Apple, and Cisco. But again, I think these are solid companies. And, you know, once they come down and cool down from the knee-jerk reaction, it'll be a definite time for people to start buying in and going long. So I'm a still very bullish long-term on these, just a little bit of bearish short-term. Now, that's news. Let's get into some stocks. What's look good moving forward? So here's the, of course, the most anticipated earnings. You know, we got some big ones coming up. We had Applied Materials after the hour and Palo Alto. Uh, we got a Palo Alto stock. They did fairly well. It'll be interesting to see how they close tomorrow. Going into Friday, a lot of people like to sell out in cash in hand. But Applied Materials did not do so well. And we're expecting earnings for John Deere and Foot Locker. So those will be interesting to see how they end up um, doing tomorrow when the bell rings. So over here, we're paying attention to some ETFs. We got the SPY, bearish and thinking it goes back down there and tries to test that, you know, lower, lower uh, mid of, you know, 380s, 390s, stuff like that. So that's where I think SPY is a little bit bearish short terms. XBI, I do like XBI from here. I think that we're in an uptrend. And we're starting to get a shelf. So I do think XBI pushes to the upside. And I would not be surprised if 72, maybe even $73 if it can break out and hold those upper levels. And XAR, I put this one, this is a new one. This is defense contracting uh, ETF. And with defense contracting stocks being in high demand with the war, we definitely got to pay attention to this. It is beat up here recently. We're kind of approaching, you know, one of the recent lows, but I do think that we're going to find a bottom and we're going to start seeing some money flow into this and it's going to pop a little bit. So I do think it has a bullish outlook on it. So that's why I like it going forward. Talking about stocks that jump and dump. Here we go. We got Cisco big dump, and we're also going to watch it for the rebound. So we're definitely paying attention to Cisco. It's a juggernaut company. It's not going anywhere. All right. If anything, this is just a, a good idea for us to get a better price to go long on it. So I do like Cisco long term moving forward. I could see that it potentially has a little bit more of a downward slide, especially if it keeps the negative sentiment coming up. But eventually, it's going to find the bottom, and then we're going to start consolidating and we'll start tracking from the upside from there. This is Palo Alto. It had a nice run after hours and we're going to watch for the cool down. So I, I don't know if it has enough juice to, to go past and break out from its uh, recent consolidation area that you saw over there yesterday, but we'll see what happens. Um, I do think that, you know, it sold off a little bit and it was a better entry price and you started seeing some flow come back into it. I'd like to see what this does closing out the market. And then we'll go from there thinking about going longer out on this particular stock. And then one of my favorite stocks, I like this one here, Donut. Okay, this is Krispy Kreme. Definitely a great uh, risk first reward. And this is, you know, one of those comfort things, okay? They're coming out, they're restructured the management and stuff like this. And people are starting to flow back into it. And, you know, donuts are always popular, especially when people are a little down and out of stuff. So I do think that these guys do fairly well. And I'd like to see them break out from this current area where they're at to the upside. The more we're going into John Deere, so DE, I'm thinking it dumps like the other companies. Okay, it's definitely an expensive stock uh, for most retail investors, and I do think that we got some downside to this. So I do think it's gonna uh, it's gonna follow suit with like the other earnings of the big type of juggernaut companies, and I think it follows down. We can see some sympathy play with Cat as well on this particular ticker. 
for Locker. I think it's going to pop to the downside, and I got a price target of $28. I think that's going to be a significant dump for it. I don't think that they're going to be making money. I don't think their guidance is going to be fairly well, and I'd be surprised if they have stellar earnings given the inflation concerns from all the other retail type of stocks. And then me, I do like me where it's at right now. I think it's going to go for a retest of your recent highs. And I think that it will have enough juice, hopefully with some volume going into it. People will think that this is a decent um, play, a little safer play than other trades. So I do think me can push to the upside and will break through. Going on further, here's some of the defense stocks, okay? AVAV, definitely like what I'm seeing with the stock. I mean, it's a consistently on a kind of a V-shaped recovery and I'd like it to break to the upside. So I'm paying attention to this very big uh, Lockheed Martin LMT oversold in my opinion. We're gonna find bottom and then it's gonna start having money flow into it. They're making those, you know, shoulder filed missiles and they're in partnership with RTX, which we'll go over here next. And, you know, this is what we're supplying, you know, Ukraine and allied nations over there to fight the Russian, you know, offense. So we're definitely paying attention to it. And the same thing with the RTX. I think it's just in a cool down period right here, testing the lows. I think it will find uh, the support down here and it'll be basically a demand zone for it and it'll push up. So I'll be uh, interested to see how that does. <clears throat> All right, and that's the video, guys, okay? So with that said, I want you guys to have a fantastic night. I want you to invest in yourself in 2022. I hope you go out there and make some money, and I want you guys to quit wasting money that doesn't make money. I want you to at least, if you're going to get into a service, man, you need to have a service that is giving you something back. And I think Traders War Room is that service, and I think we really take care of our members. So definitely come check us out. You know, like I said, we got free and paid services, so it does nothing for you to click the traderswarroom.com link and go check us out or go to the Discord page and become a free member. It does nothing. You guys come over there, check us out, you look around for a little bit, and then when you decide you, you're tired of working around and you wanna make some money, then you come onto the premium side and we'll go and get it cracking. Now, with that said, I want to thank you guys. I always want to go to war with each and every one of you. I thank you guys for giving me to get well soon wishes and stuff. It really meant a lot. And I'll be back to action here in no time feeling 100%. But until then, I want to remind you that we're looking at the stock market like a war zone. Stocks and sectors are our battle. We'll do it together as a team. Cat conquer, destroy. And we're always going to war. <laughs>